Okay, so I'm just going to review uh, setting up uh, gastric suctioning to the NG tube. So we had inserted this large bore NG tube um, and uh, for gastric decompression. And there is a uh, couple different or several different indications that your patient may need decompression. Um, so you'd want to know again that it's uh, appropriate for your patient and understand why they're getting it and, and then again explaining it to them. That's big. So um, we have our supplies ready here. I'll just get some gloves. Um, so we've again confirmed placement of our tube. Um, we're not going to be instilling anything into it right now but uh, Hopefully you remember that when we did put in this Salem sump, it came with this connector piece. So you, for decompression, you'd actually want to keep that connector piece um, in there, in the port. So I'll don my gloves for this. So again, we may, um, we likely will come in contact with gastric contents here. Um, so you just want to open up that, that port, same as before, um, just the bigger one this time. And just of note or something to note, um, when you're opening up these ports and um, these caps, be really careful with them or gentle with them because you don't want to lose these. The patient, um, a, another important note, these tubes can stay in for up to 30 days. So you don't want to have to replace the tube because we ripped the, the cap off of it. Um, so just be gentle with them because they are a little bit flimsy and as you could probably imagine that can be easily detached and we don't want that to happen. So we'll just insert this now. Um, so that's what's going to hook up to our suction. Again, you would need an order for this, um, for your patient to be um, getting suction. So they typically will order it as low GOMCO. Um, and this is the GOMCO machine here that you see, this big orange guy. Um, and we're gonna get, um, this is suction tubing. Um, it's the same tubing as you use for yonker or oral suctioning um, that hooks up to the suction uh, device. So it's hooked up down there to the canister um, and we're gonna just hook it up here to our um, connector connector piece um, and make that comfortable for the patient make it so that they, they it won't come easily detached um, and then you would just turn on your suction Ooh, just like that you don't want it flopping around so this is where we would have it um, attached to the patient um, to their gown with that clothes pin here um, so we're going to turn on our machine um, you can see that there is a lower suction of 90 millimeters um, and then there's a higher suction. And we don't have it um, plugged in right now, but it will sort of just sound like a motor, it will turn on, and you will see um, contents come out through the tube and sort of work its way down into the canister. So um, for uh, nursing management, you'd wanna be monitoring, of course, the, the type or the characteristics of that gastric contents, as you guys will start to learn um, different uh, looks or different appearances will, can mean different things. Um, you also definitely want to note the amount in there, right? You want to make sure that he's, we're not having massive gastric losses um, and that we're not replacing it or monitoring um, his fluid and electrolyte balance. We want to monitor his ins and outs quite accurately. So just be checking that canister frequently um, for the characteristics and amounts that are coming out.